Hello everyone and welcome and thank you for joining me this week and thank you for your patience. I uh, was guided to take last week off. I just caught my energy kind of got a little low from all of the traveling that I was doing and with the mercury retrograde I just felt I needed to take that week off but I'm back and the good news is is that after this week we will be out of the mercury retrograde which is good news uh, this week I was guided to use um, all about dreams so I thought I would use the angel dreams oracle card deck by Doreen and Melissa Virtue and then the dream oracle cards by Kelly Sullivan Walden now I've already pre-shuffled the cards but we're going to go on ahead and just pick them live here. And I'm asking, as I do every week, what we need to know for our highest good. And this one wants to come out here. So we're going to choose this one. And this one here. So we'll go with these, these two. I don't know where your mind has been, but I'm going to tell you, um, I really have been thinking about, you know, once this month is over, we're really down to two more months for this year, and it really has gone by quickly. So I've been thinking about next year, and you know, uh, 2015, when you add that up, is all about eight. So that's going to be about our um, prosperity and finances and career. So don't be surprised if you're being intuitively guided to take a look at your finances, refinancing, um, budgeting, paying off credit card debt. And I feel you're going to, I know for me, I've been really focused on doing that uh, lately, and that's going to even be moving uh, more so as we get into November, December, and then all of next year. So for this week, though, for the 20th through the 26th, the first card out of the, out of the gate is Snake. Now, uh, Snake can be a scary card for some people, but it's actually a wonderful, wonderful card because it's about rebirth and releasing and um, really about integration. So this is about taking a look at what you need to let go of, okay? Just, look, just like the snake sheds its skin, this is releasing and taking a look at all of that which no longer serves you. So this is going to be as we start off for this week about what you need to move yourself away from or to let go of that you've been controlling. So this is going to be a transition period, um, whether it's, you know, with birth, uh, this is birth and death, you know, so this is about letting something go so that something new can be brought into its place. So it's shedding out all of the old. So you may be guided to even like do even a detox on hearing as well. So what is it that you're needing to let go of or to release or the questions that you want to start asking? Or what is it that you want to bring back into your life? Something that's been released from the past may now be introduced again. So, um, you know, don't be afraid of your personal power. OK, it's it's really symbolizes that hidden teaching. And just like the snake wraps itself around this branch here, this is about movement, okay? And how it can um, control and squeeze and contract. So that's the movement of this. This is about really um, using that power to take control of letting those things go, but also taking uh, the control to release what you uh, have been controlling so much with that you need to let go of, if that makes any sense to you, okay? We then move into selenite, and I love selenite. This is spiritual activation. This is stimulation. So selenite's associated with your crown chakra. So this is also about releasing all of the negative thoughts that you've been holding on to as well, and to allow that to... Um, just, just allow even like a, a chakra cleansing as well and focusing on that crown chakra. So this is about attending to what you've started too. And it's this card is coming in for us for this week because this is about balancing the chakras as well. And you can use a selenite. It's a wonderful crystal to use because it's such a high vibration, but you can use it to clear away any energies that might feel blocked or any negativity that's even on your physical body. Selenite's beautiful for like if you have a long wand of selenite to place that on your back if you're having back pain. And that's a wonderful 
crystal to use to relieve aches and pains and muscle spasms in the body. So this is, uh, I feel like also, almost like even a physical aspect of what's going on for this week, okay? And this is about using your magic, too. Now, let's take a look at the Dream Oracle cards. I love this, okay, email. Be mindful of the messages that you send, all right? And I'm going to really hit on this because, remember, we're still in Mercury retrograde. So Mercury, when it's in retrograde, it's even if you can even avoid sending any emails at all possible, I would tell you to do that. I can't tell you since the beginning of this month how many people have really taken my words and twisted them up and threw them out into something completely different than what my intentions were. So my advice to you on this is as we move out of this retrograde to be crystal clear, and I'm hearing from, um, from my guides to tell us all that just be very crystal clear that your messages are being understood. So that may even be saying a message that you have that, uh, that's of utmost importance two or three times to the individual if you need to, to make sure that they're clearly understanding what you're saying and what you're meaning, okay? But especially email, because you know a lot of times when we send messages in email, uh, what we think is in our head and, you know, we're trying to be funny and everything, this doesn't necessarily come across that way in an email. So you've got to really choose your words carefully and watch the tone of the email. So be very cautious of the messages that you're sending. And messages of all kind, whether it's through email or just in your personal day in and out uh, conversations. And school, okay? Examine your beliefs about being tested. So interesting with this here, because, you know, this is about a learning experience with, with whenever I see school, this is, this is really about learning and also teaching too, okay? So you may be feeling like you're being tested this week. And, you know, school signifies a learning phase in your life. So this, this could be something that's a reflection of like your job or a relationship that might be testing you and your communication in that aspect. So releasing all of control of that. But this is also about, you know, um, making sure that, you know, in order for things to grow to your fullest potential, you know, you need to take a look at all the aspects in your life that are testing you right now. So that's, that's the messages that I really feel for this week is to really um, release anything that we're controlling that we really don't need to be. And to use our higher, work from your higher self for this week too. Carry some selenite if you have that. And really allow that to tap into your, um, you know, your, your higher power, your, your higher self. And as I just said that, I just realized I've got this wand of selenite here. So this is a, a wonderful crystal to work with. I love that. And watch, watch the communication of how you are communicating to people. And I think we're going to have a wonderful week. Just may have a feeling of like we are being tested, but just choose your words wisely. And uh, thank you for all of my new subscribers. Sorry I've been away so long. I feel like I'm back now. And um, this is a wonderful, I love the, uh, the Shiva Lingam here. I got that when I was in Eureka Springs. It's just beautiful. And this is really, I use this a lot when I want to work with balancing. So really feel like I needed that quite this week. You have a great week, everyone. And I will touch base with you next week. We'll see what's in store. And angel blessings. Bye now.